Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. It's going to be a fairly simple fluid tutorial, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first step in the tutorial is to switch from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading, and then scale up the cube on the X and Y axis by clicking S, then Shift Set. Then confirm the scale by left clicking, and then we need to duplicate this uh, object. So click Shift D to duplicate, and uh, let's go into edit mode, and uh, face select and select the top face, and click G, then set to scale it on the set axis. And this is going to be the domain. So uh, let's click set to go into wireframe view, and then we need to add the sphere. So click Shift A to add a new object, and then add a UV sphere. And this is going to be the ball, so click G, then set to grab it on the set axis, and then G just to grab it. And S to scale. And uh, let's go into the modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier. Add modifiers and then subdivision surface. Increase it to three. And if you want smooth shading as well, just click smooth in shading. And click N to make the coordinate show up, and click I to keyframe the position. And then move forward in time, and click G to uh, grab the sphere. And then left click to confirm the position, and then click I to keyframe the location. And then let's move it again. Move a few frames forward, click G to grab the sphere, and uh, then click I to uh, keyframe deposition. Let's do it a few more times. Click I to keyframe, and move forward in time again, click G to grab, click I to keyframe, and then let's do it one more time on the set axis, and then click I to keyframe the location. Okay, so the next step in the tutorial is to add the fluid physics. So add fluid to the sphere, and then make it an obstacle, and make sure to switch from volume to shell. The next object will be the fluid, so change it to uh, fluid, and uh, let's select the domain as well. Okay, so fluid, and change it to domain, and then increase the resolution. If you have a slow computer, change it to uh, maybe 150, and if you have a fast computer, change it to 200. In the uh, fluid world settings, you can also change the uh, type of fluid to oil, honey, or water. I'm going to change it to water, because that's what the tutorial is about, but you can also change it to a different type. And below the type, you will see a button which is called Bake, and we're going to press that button. And what Bake is going to do is to calculate all the movements of the fluid and the obstacle which interact with the fluid. And after maybe an hour of baking, you will have the finished fluid animation. It's going to take quite some time, but... Um, I think you will like the results. Okay, so when the baking is done, you need to remove the original mesh. So uh, select the uh, first cube, and then disable the eye and the render camera to hide it from the scene. And then let's go into the modifiers, add a modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the poly count for the fluid. And I'm also going to add some smooth shading to smooth up the uh, mesh. Okay, so let's select the uh, lighting, or the lamp, and change it from point to sun, increase the size to 1, and then click use nodes, and uh, change the strength to about uh, 6 or 7, to get some decent lighting in the scene. Okay, so now that we have the light in the scene, we can finally add the materials. So let's select the fluid, and then before we change to rendered view, Let's change it from CPU render to GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you can still use the CPU. It's just going to be a bit slower. Okay, so now we're in the uh, rendered view, and now we can start adding the materials. So let's start with the uh, fluid material, and that is going to be a glass material. So click Use Nodes, and then change it from Diffuse to Glass. And uh, for the color, I'm going to make it a little bit bluish. So first, make it completely white, and then change it to a blue color. 
and uh, for the world I'll make the background a little bit lighter so uh, some kind of white or uh, gray color would be uh, the best then let's select the sphere and add a material for the sphere click new and for the sphere I will add a uh, glossy material so change it to glossy and then increase the roughness a few uh, points and then for the color you can choose whatever color you want I ended up with a uh, red color in the final animation and once you have the color you want we can go to the next step of the tutorial which is to set up the scene or basically to set up the camera so uh, let's go back to solid view first before we set up the camera click shift set to go back to solid view and then click numpad zero to see through the camera or to use the camera then select it click shift f to use the fly cam and then move around with w a s and d there are many ways to move the camera around but i uh, prefer the fly cam because you can move around just like in a video game with w a s and d and just make sure that everything is within the frame of the camera so if it's not you just move backwards with s and find the uh, right position if you want to see what it looks like when it's rendered you just click shift set again to go into rendered view and uh, I might change the background color a bit to make it brighter so uh, obviously just choose whatever color you want or the brightness you want and just experiment now the next step of the tutorial is to change the render settings and set up the render so uh, to change the render settings you need to select the camera icon and then increase the resolution quality to 100% and then make a new folder for the outputs which is where all of the rendered images will end up so uh, make a new folder wherever you want on the computer give it a name and then select the folder and just write uh, tut or wherever you want which is the name of the images that will be rendered and then for the sampling I usually set it to around maybe uh, 250 if you have a slow computer you might want to set it down a bit if you use a GPU for the rendering I would also recommend changing the size of the tiles in the performance which is usually going to decrease the uh, render time for the final animation and before we start the rendering you should also find out where you want the animation to end so just find a position in the timeline that you think is uh, or should be the last frame and then you go up in the render settings and change the end frame so uh, let's make it 140 and then let's select the noising as well to denoise the render and let's also save the file if you want to uh, use it for later or if you want to uh, make sure that everything's saved if the uh, program crashes so, uh, I might as well just save it here so waterball.blend and then enter to save the file okay so now the animation is basically done and now it's time to make the final adjustments if you want to so if you want to change the color for example of the uh, ball you can change that or you can change the background color you can change the uh, color of the fluid so uh, just um, do the last changes before we start rendering the animation because the rendering is actually going to take uh, quite some time so uh, you want to make sure that everything looks perfect or just the way you want it to look I also decided to change the end frame from 140 to 130 because the movements actually stop at uh, 130 so you can change that and you can also change the uh, colors one last time and as you saw in the final animation I ended up with the uh, red color so, uh, something like this and then click animation to render out the whole animation and it might take 24 hours it might take five hours but it's going to take some time so i hope you liked the tutorial and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments so thanks for watching